Hello everyone, I hope you are um, doing okay with all your self-studying and your your activities. Um, we're trying to make it as understandable as possible. So um, I quickly want to talk to you about a statement that we hear so very often where we say prevention is better than cure. And it is a, a true statement, especially with regards to special needs. If we can pick up any developmental delays early on, we can do so much more for the children in our classrooms. So um, I want to quickly stand still at a developmental delay. In other words, we as practitioners know that ch certain children have certain milestones to reach. In other words, they need to develop certain skills in certain age groups. We all know that children are unique and they don't all develop at the same time. But there are certain things that we know that if they are not able to do that at a specific age, there's some delay that is happening. And if we can pick these things up early, we can do something about it. We can provide the children with extra support. We will be able to refer them to extra services um, to be able to help them to reach these milestones. Special needs children um, need to adapt to society. We can't exclude them. And the Department of Education is very um, passionate about that, to making sure that children with special needs have access to quality services. So that's why this module is part of your level 4 training, so that you are equipped and have an understanding that you need to be able to understand what is special needs. You need to have an understanding of the different kinds of special needs, the causes, um, what can be done about it, the treatments available. And in your notes, you will have those tables that you, can, that you need to self-study. So that's very, very important. So as an ECD practitioner, you need to be aware of possible developmental de delays and you need to understand that um, identifying special needs early on is extremely important because then we'll be able to build up these children's self-esteem. We'll be able to look at things in our classroom that we are able to adapt and we'll be able to refer these children for extra support if if need be. So it's, it's really extremely important for you as an ECD practitioner to understand special needs. If there's certain special needs that you come across in your notes um, during this module and you feel like it's not enough, you need to read up um, Google is amazing when it comes to, to research. So, and you're more than welcome to contact us. Facilitators will be able to give you more information if you need to.